much. It's been a long winter here in Greater Lafayette, but two signals of spring are just two days away. They are, of course, the Purdue Challenge, which raises money for the school's cancer research and the annual spring football game. And here to talk about both events today is Purdue's head football coach, Daryl Hazel. Thanks for being here today. Good morning. It's great to be here. Good morning. So let's talk about the challenge, the seventh annual challenge. How important is the challenge to what the school is looking to do in cancer research? Well, it's huge for our community. We need all, all of our people to uh, get behind us, and we always talk about being one brick higher, uh, and this is no different. we got to make sure everybody comes out on Saturday morning and uh, joins the challenge. Now, $350,000 over the years have been raised. What are some of the goals this year, and what is it really looking to do? It's about getting better, and every single person that uh, participates in this event helps. And we have to get our minds and hearts wrapped around making this a huge event for us every single year. And of course, it starts with the students and it goes to the administration, but then you also have a lot of athletic department yeah. involvement, players, coaches like yourself and the administration, the athletic department. What does it really mean to get the athletic department behind this and really drive this effort? Well, I think there's so many people that are involved with our athletic teams, and if they can come out and support the, uh, the challenge this uh, Saturday night, it'll be huge to continue to, you know, attack this, this problem that attacks the world. And of course, that's the seventh annual 5K run and walk coming up this Saturday, April 12th at Purdue. You can get tickets beginning all the way up until tomorrow. And the race begins at 8.30 a.m. And as we mentioned, they've raised over $350,000 over the years. It's $20 for students, $25 for adults. And you can find out more information on thepurduechallenge.com. Now let's turn, Coach, to the team. Of course, you have your spring game coming up this Saturday as well. Talk about the atmosphere. You'll have the challenge going on at ross Aid beginning in the morning. And then you'll have the game coming up in the afternoon. Afternoon. What's the atmosphere going to be like? The atmosphere will be great. We'll have a lot of guys uh, uh, coming in from uh, out of town. The, uh, a lot of former players are coming back. We've got a long list of uh, people that are going to be involved in this deal. But the atmosphere here will be excellent, and uh, the weather's supposed to be cooperative, and so it's going to be a good day for us. And what do you really look for in a spring game as a coach, and your staff as well? What do they really drill down with the players and try to interpret out of that day? Well, really it's the culmination of 14 previous practices. And our guys have done a great job of getting themselves ready uh, to give themselves a chance to be successful uh, for next season. And, and looking now to the spring game, more thinking about last year. Now you're coming into a new year. Is the spring game really the page turner that you guys need to focus on the year ahead as opposed to the year before? I think every single day that you work to get better is the page turner. And I think our guys have done that. Uh, they've really bought in. Uh, they've worked extremely hard to put themselves in this position. Uh, and the spring game's a lot of fun, but that's not really the page turner. I see. And now the team is looking to improve in a lot of ways off of last year's effort, sure. but specifically the offense I want to talk about. What kind of progress have you made in the offseason? Well, we've done some things different schematically that will help us, uh, but I also think understanding the offense will help our guys really execute a lot better. We've taken much better care of the football. We've also uh, eliminated our mental mistakes. So uh, anytime you can do those two things, you got a much better chance of being successful. All right, Purdue coach Daryl Hazel, we really appreciate the time this morning. Thank you so much. And again, you can get the Purdue Challenge, more information on it at thepurduechallenge.com, and both that and the spring game coming up this Saturday at Ross Aid.